Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and the tech topic for this week is personal computing nostalgia. Y'all might remember Roberto, who is the CEO of Throwboy. The pillows there on my couch were made by him. YouTube.com slash Throwboy Pillows. We have kind of a, a relic here that I found. Wait, you found this? Well, okay, so I got it on Craigslist. The guy dropped it off on my doorstep and said, don't worry about it, you can just have it. <laughs> so, if you don't know what this is, this is the next computer. Uh, Steve Jobs' company right after he got ousted out of Apple. These are very rare, and it works. It works perfectly. My first home computer was nowhere near this complex. It was a Commodore 64. All in one. It has uh, Ethernet, too, so technically we could get this online. You know, the first web browser was written on Next. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've ever seen a Next computer in person. This is running Next Step, I think 3.2, something like the very last version. And that software was later turned into OS X. So you'll see a lot of similarities. It looks sort of like an old black and white OS X. <laughs> Let's go ahead and boot her up. Windows 95 wasn't even out yet, and this was already doing these kinds of animations and this kind of detail to the to the icons and everything like we'll see soon. All right, I'm gonna try to log in here. Ah, it animated, it shook back and forth. That's a familiar <laughs> thing if you use OS 10. Even the little animation on the mouse cursor is really the spinning ball that you get, the beach ball. Of doom. Yeah, <laughs> except it's black and white here. But it was color but my monitor is obviously monochrome. So, this is it. Column view actually came from Next. And the dock is on the side here. You can't move the dock around, and you can pull things in and out of it. So this is the mail application, and email was very new at the time. I mean, I don't think very many people were even using this. When you boot it up, you actually get an email from Steve Jobs. <laughs> and this is from April 28th, 1994. And I believe there was another one from a little bit earlier that actually has an audio recording and says something like, Hi, this is Steve Jobs. Welcome to the next world. And then it like does a little... Because one of the cool things about this was you could send audio notes in email. So if I hit compose, they have this thing called lip service. They have different fonts and you can do, you know, just simple things with it. Next step had to distinguish itself from the Macintosh because of legality. And they ended up just putting the menu bar in this kind of floating thing rather than along the top. So when you click on it, it kind of fans out and gives you the little options along the side, but you can also move it around. Shall we play a game? Those graphics are incredibly realistic. <laughs> Do I really want to quit? Yeah, the boss is coming. Is that a Tetris icon? There is even a color off option. I'm probably going to be here for a while. This is a waveform. It formed a wave. Form. Look at those icons. OmniWeb. I haven't heard that name since, oh, before you were born. Wait, when you tinked it, did that crack the monitor? Because I, I, I heard definitely heard a sound that did not emanate from software. No way! You could probably find your own Next computer somewhere online. I'd imagine they're selling for less than a thousand bucks. The monitor stand was actually a big deal. It was patented. Steve Jobs really wanted this stand that could move. So it tilts like so. And it also rolls so you can actually position it however you want. Which is kind of a new thing at the time. Remember when computer peripherals had balls? Does this thing have a turbo button? That slab is pretty much the computer. Rather svelte. 
Steve Jobs took a really long time determining what color black they wanted for the next computer, and a lot of them were rejected to be able to get this exact color of black. On the back, I recognize a clean port and one that's a bit more scuzzy. A megapixel display with line out. November 1991, I had just graduated high school. From the past to the present, as I promised last week, we'd be giving away a MacBook Air to one of you. I hope you were paying attention. And the recipient of this MacBook Air from Parallels is Marlene Kirksey. Marlene's been a great part of our community for quite some time, so congratulations. She's also getting a fully licensed copy of Parallels, Windows 8 Pro, and Windows 7 Professional. What was the first computer you ever owned? I'm asking you too. I had an IBM Aptiva. Now comes the time in this video when Roberto has to leave, and so do you. But thanks again for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing this video.